Lightfall brought with it two battles, the fight to stop Kallus on Neomuna and the battle against Shadow Legion forces invading Earth. Season of Defiance has had an interesting debut. Amanda Holiday and Crow appear in a cutscene. The Guardian rescues prisoners captured by Shadow Legion forces, and Marasov shows off the power of her awoken magic. Welcome Guardians, today we discuss week one of Defiance. There's been a lot going on with Lightfall, but Defiance is the new season launching alongside it, and here's how it begins. From Neomuna, Mara contacts us to tell us about the struggle not just in this neon city, but back home. She needs us whenever possible. May this transmission reach you, wherever you find yourself. The scepter will rest true in the hands of its wielder, but a message comes with no such guarantee. In the aftermath of the Witnesses' attack, the Vanguard called for aid. On behalf of the Awoken people, I answered. We now face a war on two fronts, one on the far reaches of the system and the other at your home, Earth. Continue your fight against the Voice in the Darkness. I will assist as best I can in your absence, but even my powers have their limits. Return when you are able. Your people need their heroes. In the farm, we are greeted by Mara, Devrim K, and Mithrax. This was exciting to see. Devrim has been chilling up in his EDZ church tower for years, appearing in lore tabs but never really had a chance to shine until now. With the fight taken to the EDZ, he and Mithrax are here to assist in Mara's magic awoken power. Hello, Guardian. Good to see you again. Wish it were under better circumstances. I don't believe we've met. Devrim K, Velask. Velask, I am Mizrax, Kelm of the House of Light. I'd heard the Vanguard had Elixni allies in the city. Good to have you here. Yes, many have come to the Vanguard's aid. Mara Kel is using her light to protect us. Kel, there is no need for honorifics, and my power is not of the light. Afraid we must cut the pleasantries short. In the aftermath of the attack on the Traveler, the Shadow Legion has begun taking captives to the pyramids. Amanda Holiday is... We cannot reach her on any frequency. Holiday is out there. Of that I'm certain. I'll continue scanning the comms. Knowing her, she's up to something. The only question is what precisely? Give me a moment to prepare the LZ and I'll brief you. Until then. Together we will save the captives and Amanda. The light provides. You will need more than the light to stand against the witness. But I can provide. Now go, and I will focus on the battles to come. Mara's power is interesting. Mithrax says she's got the power of the light, but she corrects him. The Awoken were created when both light and dark would collide outside of their starship. So if Mara doesn't use light or dark, it'll be interesting to see where this power comes from, but we'll discuss that in another video. Devrim tells us of this threat. We head to the EDZ to rescue Amanda Holiday after the opening Lightfall cutscene where she crash lands her ship. Alright, Guardian. I'll keep it brief. The Witness took a swing at the Traveler, and when we tried to intervene, our pilots went down. Amanda Holiday among them. The survivors, what there were of them, went to ground near Trostland and Old Russia. Now the damned Shadow Legion is picking through the wreckage and capturing prisoners. We're running rescue ops in the EDZ now. Crow has gone ahead to scout the defenses. He's reporting the Pyramid Outpost is utterly impenetrable. Fortunately, the Queen is on our side. Mara is imbuing you with otherworldly power. Awoken magics and all that. I'm not sure how it works myself, but if she believes you can make it through, I'm not about to disagree. I'm glad you're here, Guardian. I'll see you in the field. Upon landing, Amanda speaks to Devrim and the Guardian searches for a way inside the pyramid. 
Repeat emergency transmission. This is Amanda Holiday. My ship was disabled during combat and I was forced down in the EDZ. While I was waiting for evac, I saw a Shadow Legion patrol leading a group of captives to a pyramid. I'm sneaking into the facility with the prisoners. I'll bring my comms along as a beacon. Whoever hears this, tell the Guardian to gear up and follow my signal. I'll be waiting. This is Amanda Holiday. Does anyone read me? There she is. I'm so glad to hear your voice. Hey, Debram. Good to hear you too. I was starting to worry I'd snuck in here for nothing. Quite clever of you. It's a bit risky though. Can't say I condone it. Risky? Ain't you the fella who once ran a cabal blockade just for fresh eggs? Where in the facility are you, Amanda? Guilty as charged. Just hold tight, my dear. Reinforcements are on their way. After clearing some forces, Mara uses her power to breach the fabric of reality. And instead of entering the pyramid, you know, through a door somewhere, we breach through the ascendant plane instead. At the end, we rescue Amanda. Afterwards, Amanda clears Cabal forces and has an interaction with Crow. I see you on my radar, Guardian. The prison cells should be just ahead. The head guard's a real piece of work, though. So watch yourself. Extraction confirmed. The hostages are on their way back to the farm. Good work, everyone. Guardian, my ship's nearby, but she took a beating. I could use your help getting her out of here. Hey, Guardian. Thanks for your help back there. Just need to clear out this... Nice shot. Right through the heart. Thanks. Sorry. We thought you were Shadow Legion. Easy mistake. I'm just so beefy. You're leaving again? Don't you ever slow down? Nope, not when there's work to be done. Amanda! When your ship... I thought I might never see you again. No time for that kind of talk. I'm here now. Let's get moving. So that was pretty funny. We've never seen something like that happen in a cutscene. Aldrin just dying and getting res real quick. We can clearly see the connection between these two. Ever since Crow became a thing, he and Amanda would bond back in seasons like Chosen. That was when he was still wearing the mask, you know, protecting his true identity. And when Amanda learned who he was, that relationship got a little rocky, and still is to this day. We need to talk. This isn't... This is not a good time. It's never a good time. I've been trying to talk to you for weeks and you keep dodging me. I can't. It's not... Amanda? How long did you know? How long have you known who you were? <sighs> we're done. We are done here. I do not have time for this, for you, for anything. Wait. I was scared. I am scared. People used to kill me. Kill me for... for something I didn't... You don't understand! I cared about you, and you lied to me! You wore that mask. You kept secrets from me, pretended to be my friend. Amanda. I am your friend. No, you're not. I had a friend and you murdered him. Mara tells us our light sings with magics that strengthen us, power not seen since the days of the Seven Paladins or even the Queen's Guard. Mara is powerful with her magic, but she's just one person. Over the season, we and other guardians will learn to harness this energy and become Queen's Guard ourselves. 
When the last city called for aid, I pledged the Awoken to the cause without hesitation. The Vanguard has helped my people many times in the past. But what you face now is no simple, endless curse or vengeful God King. We Awoken were first struck when we came between the Traveler and its Hunter, and I chose my people above either one. The choice has come again, and my answer is no different. I do not blindly defend the light, and I do not listen to the voice in the darkness. Instead, I choose that which holds light and dark together in hands and heart. I choose you. Now, humans, exos, cousins all, detach, fall forward, number among the first, awaken as Queen's God. This is a powerful moment. Mara puts her full trust in us. She does not follow the Traveler blindly or the voice in the darkness witness, but the one who wields both powers. Lastly, in a terminal, Amanda and Crow speak again. Amanda, I need to talk to you. What? Before it's too late? Yes. Crow, don't. I thought I'd lost you. Don't talk to me like that. Look, I know you're sorry. I know it wasn't really you. I want to forgive you. I really do. I... I tried to pull Crow and Aldrin Sav apart. I tried to, but it wasn't right. I wish I could see you another way, but I don't. I, I can't. Not yet. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. It's not like that. I know it ain't fair to you. And maybe I'll feel different someday. But not now. I understand. There's tough times ahead of us. We gotta work together. It's like y'all's ghosts always say. Eyes up, Guardian. So, there we have it. Defiance is off to a great start. Emotional moments between characters like Crow and Amanda, and epic power from the Awoken Queen herself. Tomorrow, the story will continue in week 2, so if you'd like to stay up to date on Destiny's story, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, Guardians, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.